Welcome to another video. We're going to solve this equation, and this is not an exponential equation. So the answer to this is not 4, and it is not minus 4. You cannot take the square root of both sides. It is the second tower of x. It is the second power tower, or the tetration of x. Okay, so what this means is basically that you're going to have a stack of x's written as exponents, but the height of it is just going to be 2. So, you cannot solve it in the traditional way you've always solved equations by taking the square root of both sides or doing whatever exponential laws you know. Some laws still apply, but it doesn't, they don't apply here. We will need a special function to be able to solve this. That function is called the Lambert W function, or it is called in some circles the product log function, or it is called the omega function. So whatever name you like, use it. I think I like the W function, because the omega is some special word for me. Okay, so I'm going to call it the W function. Now, what does the W function do? The W function does this to anything. Just as if you have e to the x is equal to 0, for example, equals 1, okay? If you want to find x, you have to know how to take the logarithm of both sides, right? So that if you take the log ln of this, you take ln of this, you're going to notice that this comes down as x ln of e equals ln of 1. But we know this cancels this out, so what you have left is just x, and this will be equal to 0. So you know that the solution to the equation e to the x is equal to 1 is such that x is equal to 0. You see, we had to introduce natural log. But there are times where the x you're solving for is not just the exponent. It is both the exponent and also in the base. And that is the case we have here, because the problem you have here is actually the base raised to the exponent. It is present in both the exponent and the base. Therefore, you will need a special function that is one step higher than the natural log function. And that's what we call the W function, the omega function, or the product log function. And what does it do? All it's saying is that if a function, you see here we can say f of x equals e to the x, but if we define a function as f of x equals x e to the x, you are still multiplying the exponential function by x itself. Then, in order to solve this equation for x, you will have to undo this by using the w function of x e to the x will give you back your x. Just as we did here, you had to put this inside a natural log function to get your x. The same thing, you have to put this in inside a product log function to be able to get your x back. So, all we need to do is rewrite this problem in a way that it looks like this. If we can make it look like this, we're going to get our x. And that's the mission. So, let's begin. The tool we're going to use is the W function. So remember, our mission is to rewrite this to look like this. And once it looks like this, we can take the W of both sides and then we're going to get our whatever is here, and maybe it will help us find our final answer. So, let's begin with this. We're going to say that x to the x is equal to 16. And we can rewrite this by taking the natural log of both sides, like we'll normally do. So, we'll say ln of x to the x will be equal to ln of 16. So, I'm going to bring down this x. So I have x ln of x is equal to ln of 16. So you have to start thinking, I need it to look like this, 
but there is no E here. I need to make something E. Okay, let's focus on this X. I know that X can be written as E to the natural log of X. Because this always undoes this and you're gonna get your X back. So this X has been written this way. So we're multiplying it by the natural log of X, but because, but we haven't changed anything. We just changed the form in which we wrote this. So this is gonna be equal to the natural log of 16. Something is about to happen. Watch this. I'm gonna move it to the side so that this becomes ln of X e to the ln of x. Do you think I have created what I was looking for? This now looks like this. Which means if I plug this into the w function, I'm gonna get ln of x e to the ln of x. I'm gonna plug the right hand side too into the w function. I'm gonna get ln of 16 as the argument. What comes out of this? That's what comes out. I'm gonna write this. Oh no, that's ln of x, come on. <laughs> I got carried away by my beautiful flower. Okay, so if I have this ln of x, is what comes out here. What comes out of here? I don't know. It's like asking me what is ln of 16. I don't know ln of 16 unless I use a table or I use my calculator. That's the same thing. You don't need to worry about what comes out of this. You can always get that from a calculator or a program or a website. It doesn't matter. The point is, this is the W of the natural log of 16. But remember, we are not looking for the natural log of X. What are we looking for? We're looking for x. How do you get x out of ln of x? You just take the e, just like we did here. Take the e of ln of x and x comes back out. So if we clean this up, we're gonna take the e of both sides. See what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put e here and I'm gonna put e here. Well, I can't do anything to this side, but I know this gives me x, which is what I'm looking for. So x is equal to e to the w of ln of 16. And this is the solution. And that number, I'll leave you to decide. Go find it on the internet and tell me what that is. <laughs> Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.